Hi, in this video, I'm going to try to answer and solve the issue that this user has uh, launching a drone construct main launch. So this is from this repo, from this package. And what I'm going to do is try to explain what's going on and what have I done to fix it. Okay, so first things first, how do we do it? Well, basically, I've down, I've created a workspace that it's called a Parrot Workspace in my local computer. And inside source, I've downloaded these two packages, Parrot Drone and also Spawn Robot Tools. That is a dependency also of this Parrot Drone that you can, I link uh, the gits in the video description so that you can download them. Okay, once you have them, you just have to compile with catkin make. Yeah, I've already done it. Just compile, but basically we compile it and then we source devil set up the bash, cross back the file. And we do that with each of the, the terminals that we have, okay? Okay, once we have it, then we just launch the, this command and nothing happens. So. Why doesn't it happen anything? Well, there, there's some reasons why it doesn't happen anything. If you have a look, if we launch it and we do ROS topic list, we'd see, we see that basically we only have the gazebo stuff and nothing else really. So what's happening here? So let's have a look. So what? To solve this, I've created this script that essentially launches everything that you need to make this work. So let's launch this script. There you go. So now we have the simulation fully functional and we can, for example, do a, a ROS topic publish um, drone takeoff and it takes off and then I can launch here ROS run twist keyboard And we can move it around. There we go. So with the keyboard, you can move it around, turn, go up with T, B, and so on, yeah? And then if we want to land, the only thing that we have to do is publish instead of takeoff, land. I think it's landing, land, yeah? And it lands. Okay, so for the people that want to know how it works, this is what you have to do. For the people that want to know what happened and what did I do to fix it, stay tuned. So let's uh, kill the simulation. So essentially I did uh, two things. One is create this script that what it does is set these variables. These variables normally in most of the packages should be stated here in the package in the exports. But in this case in particular, it's the developer didn't, didn't do it. So the, the option that the developer um, selected was setting these variables outside. And these variables state and tell gazebo where to find the models, where to find also these models and the plugins. If we don't do this, what, what happens is that uh, it doesn't find the model. So let's, and the plugin, so let's have a look. Let's launch only this. Okay, it doesn't appear at the start, but it's because we didn't pause the simulation. 
So you, as you can see, if I reset the world, what happened was that first, there's no model. This has two effects. One, we can't see the, the, the mesh, the visual mesh of the drone. And the other thing is that it doesn't have any collisions because the collisions are calculated with the mesh. So if we don't have the mesh, what happens is this. It just goes through the, the football pitch. So this is one. And, and the other is that probably the plugins, some of the plugins don't work also. So uh, this was solved by stating these variables. And this is just the way that this simulation was done by the, the original developer. And the other thing is why it didn't appear the gazebo GUI. Well, it's because this simulation, if we go to main in the construct, you see that we are launching this simple launch from SJ2U with which is here. And this simple initially had this node gazebo, blah, blah, blah. And it only starts the GZ server. It doesn't start the, the GUI, the, um, the user interface, the graphical interface. So it essentially didn't start something that you could see. So I, this, this is one thing. And the other thing is that if you try to start use this launch, which starts the GUI in some local setups, it doesn't work. It just crashes, so it won't work for you. So the best solution was using the Gazebo Ross empty world launch. And then we just pass it the world and that's it. And this starts the GUI and everything, if you want because you see here we have this parameter which is GUI and by default we put it false and if you want to activate it what you have to do is pass it as true and the same thing happens with paused. The script does it for you because it sets up, it sets the GUI to true and the pause to false. And that's quite it. If you do this and you download the latest version it will work. Yeah? If there is any issue, please leave it in the comments below or in the response of the uh, gazebo answer. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you and see you soon. Bye. Yeah.